What's up guys, Cody from Pink Gorilla here, and today I'm going to show you how to region unlock a Nintendo 64. So this will allow you to play Japanese and English games. Here we've got a Japanese copy of Smash Bros and an English copy. You will need both of these to test to make sure it's working properly. Um, well, at least the Japanese one. Uh, you will also need a 4.5mm game bit screwdriver, some nice hefty wire cutters, and a Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started by taking it apart. First, let's remove the memory expansion slot cover and pop out the jumper pack. There you go. Smooth those aside, flip it over, and we got six screws that we're going to want to take out with the 4.5 millimeter game bit screwdriver. All right. All right, now that you got the screws out, just remove the top cover, and there you go. Nice and clean inside. This is actually one we had out for sale. Uh, so you're gonna actually wanna move this base out of your way because we don't need that for the actual modification. The actual modification itself is pretty simple. We're taking out this plastic bit right here. So take your Phillips screwdriver and go with these two screws here. Alright, now move this top lid out the way. This is all you need to start playing Japanese games on your American 64. So, the only thing preventing you from putting your 64 games in are these little plastic notches right here. So we're going to want to remove those. Now you do need to be careful because this is also the bit that holds the doors, um, the cartridge slot doors in place. So um, be careful when you're cutting this plastic. So you just want to do exactly as much as you need. And just pull it tight. And right here. Now that you've cut in those two places, grip and break it out. And there you go. Now just for the other side. And there you go. Now it's smooth all the way across. So let's put it back together. Make sure that the power is in the down position as well as on the board so that you don't have any issues. If, it, say, the switch was in the up position and the board it was in the down position, it would not move at all and it would just be off forever. Don't forget the jumper pack, your 64 will not work without it. And there you go. Now both your American and your Japanese 64 cartridges will fit and work in your 64 system. So I like to save the explanation for the end just for the people who just want to see how this works and not actually know anything about it. Um, but as you can see, and you probably have guessed already, the shape of the 64 cartridges is just a little bit different. You see in America, it has this little indent right here, and that just slides in perfectly with the, with the piece that we just modified. So on the Japanese board, or the Japanese shell, rather, it has a different placement for the indentation, and that is going to be a different spot that it's on in the Japanese console. So, as you can see, if you have a little plastic bit sticking right here, it will fit perfectly there, but it will it'll stop the Japanese ones from going in. So that's all we did is just removed one little piece of plastic that allows these to fit in. Otherwise, it's basically the same thing. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye.